Uh -huh. Hey guys, Jordan Williams here, and I'm here to talk about the new game, well, somewhat new game, that was released out today, and it is Crash Insane Trilogy. Now, if you haven't heard of Crash Bandicoot, he was a character that, was, that came out in the 90s, and he came out with the first hit, Crash Bandicoot. And then there was the second game, Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back, and then the third one, Crash Bandicoot Warped. Now these games were made by Naughty Dog, and it was one of their first games that came out. And it became a popular success in the 90s with PlayStation, and a lot of places, and well, it got a lot of people wanting to get PlayStations ever since it got released. This game is a platformer game that, well, features Crash Bandicoot. And he goes on many zany adventures as he travels through to defeat Cortex and his minions. And of course, gets some Wampa Fruits while he's at it. So yeah, this game was a childhood for me and for my brother Evan. I love this game so much. It was up there with Spyro. And pretty much the only reason why I'd play PlayStation is because of this guy or Spyro and well, Croc as well. But, I mean, if I didn't play Nintendo or, you know, with Mario, Donkey Kong, it had to be Crash. And that's another thing that I loved, is that it kind of made me think of Donkey Kong in a way. I mean, a lot of its levels, its, like, music, also just its graphics and everything. Even the characters kind of made me think of something that you would see in Donkey Kong Country. But, of course, it, you know, a lot more newer than Donkey Kong Country. Um, so yeah, it decided to get a whole remastered version of all those three games that Naughty Dog created. And it brought us a completely different era of Crash Bandicoot. Well, not completely new, but it's somewhat new. They actually started from beginning to end of every single game, designing every single part of what the game had before, just to bring back, you know, memories of 90s kids' childhoods. And also to bring in, you know, some new fans for Crash Bandicoot. And I'm glad that they did that. It was great seeing Crash Bandicoot back on the screen. It was great getting to be back in his shoes again. And it was great getting to pick up the Wampa Fruits, break all the boxes, and have Aku Aku with you throughout the whole entire level. And of course have the sister Coco help out as well. So yeah, this game was a lot of fun. I haven't beat the whole game yet, but I'm pretty much halfway to fin being finished already. And it was just such a great great thing to have out on you know my birthday it was probably like the best birthday gift I could give myself really um, but I was just so excited and I bet you a lot of people were also very excited as well I mean come on it's Crash Bandicoot and if you haven't heard of the man then you better try it out for yourself to see what it's like it's definitely a lot of fun and it definitely brings back a lot of memories and nostalgia that a lot of people are going to love and enjoy Plus, with a lot of new fans that'll enjoy it, hopefully they'll, you know, think, you know, the same thing. They'll love the music, they'll love the characters, they'll love the zaniness, they'll love all the craziness that happens, all the characters, all the music, and I'm just pretty much repeating myself, but it's a lot of fun. I mean, the first one, the second one, the third one, I know I played Warped a whole lot when I was younger, mainly because that was my favorite of the three. And, I mean, it was just so great to see, like, the level with, uh, with getting to ride Pura with Coco and being able to, like, ride the Great Wall of China or being able to ride the motorcycle with Crash. Same thing with doing the scuba gear missions and just going through a lot of the medieval times. And, I mean, it was just so cool to see all these levels remastered and just brought back to life. And, I mean, I never played a whole lot of the first one, to be honest, but I did play a couple levels of it. And, of course, it has the famous ones like the boulder level, and also, of course, riding the hog. And, of course, Cortex Strikes Back, we get all the zaniness and same stuff that we get throughout all three games. It was fun getting to see all the levels again. It was fun getting to break all the boxes. Fun getting to find all the Wampa Fruits. Fun getting to fight all the enemies like Ripperoo and um, Dingo Dial and all them. And, I mean, it was just great to see all the characters in their own kind of animation form. Like, it brought back what we saw, but at the same time, they kind of brought their own new twist to it. And I like that they did that. They also got to do a little thing with having Coco more into the show, or into the game by having her be able to be playable as a lot of a lot in a lot of the levels. Sadly she can't do like some of the boss levels or certain levels that Crash can only do. 
but most of the time you get to play as her as well. So you get to switch between her and Crash, which is really cool and really interesting. So yeah, this game is a lot of fun. It brings back a lot of memories, and I'm sure that a lot of you are going to enjoy this game. I, for one, definitely am glad to see it back on the PlayStation. Maybe they'll release it out for Xbox, I don't know. I know a lot of people were asking about that, or even PC. And, well, I think the main reason why they just wanted to keep it on PlayStation was because that's how Crash started. Who knows, maybe they'll change their minds, but, you know, it's hard telling. But, anyways, to all the PlayStation gamers out there, are you? did you guys enjoy it? Did you guys think it was definitely the Crash material that we decided that we needed to see? And, I mean, would you like to see another remastered version of another series, such as Spyro? I mean, it's pretty obvious they'll probably make another one. A remastered version for Spyro as well. That just kind of is like a big calling right there. But, yeah, I mean, I was excited to play this. And, honestly, I would recommend it to anyone. And especially people who just don't know who Crash is. Definitely try it out. And you will definitely love this, this game. This game all these games together. I mean, Crash has to be one of my favorite mascots of all time, so I was very happy to see him again, and why I am giving this a 10 out of 10. You will enjoy the games, the characters, all the storyline, and you'll also get to enjoy reliving all the three games over again. Or if you're a new player, you'll get to see the whole experience for yourself. Alright, what did you guys think of it? Did you guys love it? Did you guys not like it? Was it a high expectation that just kind of not hit the, the top of what you were hoping for? Comment below, let me know, and also be sure to check out some of my other gameplay videos and also some of my other reviews. Alright, you guys have an awesome day. Peace out.